Bismillah Rahman Rahim. We'll continue the slides. What is project environment? See, project environment. See, it talks about three main factors. See, social, economic, environmental topics, issues, and can influence how a project can be managed. See, very important is regulation. These regulations are very, very important because they may exist uh, legal requirements to on product development or function. So, this uh, all the government regulations are very important. We should abide by the rules and regulations before starting a particular project. Then standards, it is the guidelines, I mean these are the handbook like you should uh, guidelines standards for professional organization often used to, to constrain how the products functions are developed, how their product functions are developed and widely accepted standards are often like de facto regulation. What do you mean by de facto regulation? De facto regulation sometimes it might be a right or sometimes it might be a wrong one but it has to be done in a very proper and efficient manner. That is why we say it's a de facto regulation. You should consider and you should abide with the rules and regulations of the particular product or particular area where you start the project. Then the main topics and issues uh, includes here for the social and economic environment is first is internalization. Internalization is the, it adds complexities like language time zone, currency and differences. See, uh, when you're having some international contact, you should be able to uh, satisfy these three main factors like language issues, then time zone issues and currency issues. See, we have real, they have dollars. So like that, you should be able to compensate and you should make it a common one. Then cultural influences. Cultural influences means include politics, religion, ethics, and education. See, cultural, these are the important factors which also also take into consideration while developing, while producing a project. Uh, main thing is politics, then religion, ethics, which you should respect and you should abide and you should not see that it is not affected in a very, it's not affected in a very bad manner, yeah. Then social economic environment, it's a sustainability. What is the sustainability? Sustainability actually it is a depletion of natural resources and its ability uh, it's depletion of natural resources to be taken into control before to have an ecological balance, see, to have ecological ecological balance, see, ecological balance, and it is the uh, to keep a check on depletion of natural resources. Yeah, so it is very very important. See, it is the ability to maintain uh, to a level. Actually, it, it uh, talks about uh, to maintain the level, to maintain a level, to maintain a level yes and has become a concept for which more and more projects are being accountable we see it talks about the levels and it is taken into consideration see these three are the main important factors social economic and environment factors where we can see the uh, nowadays because of the um, pollution these factors are taken into consideration and they should maintain a particular level uh, the safe level so before it is too late then project in relation to strategic planning. Yeah, strategic planning means these are the projects are thinking in, uh, they are actually are building blocks. See, they think in a way like uh, designing and execution strategies of an enterprise, of a company. Execution means uh, working towards. Then the right portfolio. What is this portfolio? Portfolio is the portfolio is the financial is the financial assets. It is the financial assets like stock. Yeah, like stock, then bonds, all these bonds, currencies. These are the portfolio projects which prepares for the enterprise of its future, enterprise for its future, yeah, future planning. Then in a successful enterprise, the portfolio of the projects is under constant change. See, in a successful enterprise, the portfolio of project is under constant change. See, when there is a successful enterprise, because every year you have a good turnover, so automatically this changes for a successful company. Evaluating the project, evaluating the project portfolio. First, results play the main role. Then you have an enterprise. You have the enterprise that is organization or company. You know that. Then customer, customers. We are the customers, right? And we mainly uh, to, uh, like concentrate on cost. If the cost is cheap and good, we always go for that one. And finally, time scheduling is very very important to be taken into our project management.